Hey Matt, I think someone's at the door for you. Oh really? Who's at the door for me? Well, let's go find that out now, shall we? Hey, look who it is! Hello darkness, my old friend! This is Matt Rosoff here with you once again. Welcome to game two of this three game series between your Los Angeles Angels and the Seattle Mariners. And today, the Angels lose. They lose by a score of 10 to seven. The name of this game, folks, is Bullpen. Let's break down some of the highlights of the game now, shall we? As a score of 10 to seven, means you could get a lot of highlights out of the game. And sure enough, my friends, there were a plethora of highlights that came out of this game, both good and bad. There would be no scoring in this game until we got to the top of the fourth inning. Andrew Heaney's still on the mound. Kyle Seeger is up at the plate, a veteran third baseman for the Mariners. He will drill a single into the outfield, and that makes it one to nothing Mariners. Bruh. Fortunately for the Angels, the damage will be limited as the next two batters after Kyle Seager, Tim Lopes, and Jose Marmolejos each ground out. And the top of the fourth inning ends. So we go into the bottom of the fourth inning with Justin Dunn for the Mariners still pitching. He throws a pitch to Mike Trout, a grounder to J.P. Crawford. Here comes the throw. Whoops! And wow, he missed Devin White at first base by a mile. E6, Mike Trout's on first base with no one out. Anthony Rendon is the next Angels batter. He would work a walk on five pitches, and that brings out the Mariners pitching coach to have a word with the pitcher, Justin Dunn, on how they should deal with the next batter, Shohei Otani. However, that meeting sort of went awry when Shohei stepped up to the plate and did this on a slider from the pitcher. TV's going. Again, and this time Shohei. Pretty good indication how strong he is. That's a home run. Three to one Angels. The that would be the only scoring done in the inning, as there would be a double play ball by Tommy Lastella and then another ground out to end the bottom of the fourth inning. So bummer, but hey, you got the lead. That's good, right? Top of the fifth inning, Dylan Moore leads it off for the Mariners. He grounds out, one out. D. Gordon, a veteran player in this league who is a very good contact hitter, rips a double into the outfield, and he is on base with his first double of the year. However, on the next play, the next batter for the Mariners hits a ground ball. There goes Gordon to third. Castro with the ball. Throws to third. Safe, says Bill Miller. But hold on. Joe Madden wants a challenge. And the chow and the call gets overturned on the throw to Rendon. D. Gordon is out. Out. I'm going to show you that video just to prove. There he goes. Swing and a miss. Throw down. A good one. And safe at third base. Right here. Foot is there. And then when it lifts up, because he still had the tag on him, though. He did on that, looked like he did on that previous uh, angle. Here. Right there. Yep. So there's a disconnect of both the left foot, which was there ahead of the tag. bottom of the fifth inning it is three to one angels the mariners have gone to the bullpen they have brought in a reliever by the name of nick margevicius margevicius gets jason castro to fly out and then he faces brian goodwin and goodwin does this Goodwin skies went out towards center field chasing kyle lewis back stepping out of the track near the wall gone Big fly. how good he is. So comfortable against left-handed pitching. The center field. Goody done good with a big fly. It is the top of the sixth inning. Andrew Heaney is still on the mound. 
and he faces J.P. Crawford, the shortstop, to lead off the inning, and he walks on four pitches. Bruh. Hmm. And now, here comes Joe Madden, Surpri kind of surprisingly, because Andrew's only on 64 pitches, but apparently... It was said that Andrew had lost his velocity a little bit in this game. He had lost two or three miles an hour in his velocity uh, for his pitches, so that was the reason for apparently pulling him. He, they bring in Mike Mayers, a minor league reliever. We uh, picked up on waivers from the St. Louis Cardinals in the offseason. And, my friends, this is where the game sort of gets ugly. With J.P. Crawford on first base, Evan White, the next batter, would fly out, making one out, but then... The next batter up gets a single, and J.P. Crawford goes first to third on the play, and now they've got runners on the corners with nobody out, or one out. The batter who had that single is Kyle Lewis, so now Kyle Seeger, the third baseman, steps in. He drills an RBI single into the outfield, making it 4-2. to two. That's his second RBI, so thus far for the, for the game, it is Angels 4, Kyle Seeger 2. Next batter up for the Mariners, Tim Lopes. He would swing and drill a double into center field on a line drive, and that made it 4-3. to three. And then up came Dylan Moore, and he drills a ball deep into the outfield. It goes back to the wall, and gone. That's a three-run home run, and now it is a 6-4 to four Mariners lead. In this inning, Mike Mayers has faced... Four batters, and he has gave up five runs. He gave up five runs. So now with the Mariners leading 6-4, to four, Brian Shaw comes in for the Mariners to relieve Nick, Margevi to Nick, relieve Nick Margevicius after he left the game with an injury while trying to field a pop-up. And he got the first out right away after um, Margevicius left. He struck out Shohei Otani. But Justin Upton came up, 299 career home runs. Well, you can add one more to his resume. Justin hits one out toward left center field, hit well. Kyle Lewis going back at the wall, gone. Career home run for Justin Upton, and the Angels trail it by one. Now two for eight in his career versus Brian Shaw. Congratulations to Justin Upton. Tommy Listella is the next batter. He will rip a single into the outfield, putting a runner on base for Jared Walsh. So Walsh, who has the shift on him, three men on the right side for the Mariners, on the right side of the infield, he rips a ground ball right to J.P. Crawford at short. He flips it to Seager. Uh, oh, Seager can't handle it, but he, he still throws to first, but Walsh is safe, and that keeps the inning alive with Walsh now on first base and two outs. Jason Castro would walk on five pitches, and now Goodwin is up again, and he does this. That's ripped out to the alley in right center field. That will at least tie it. Walsh will score. Castro's on his way to third. Brian Butterfield waving him home. The relay to the play from D. Gordon. Not in time. Two RBI double by Brian Goodwin. Halos have retaken the lead. Hey, look at that, Brian Goodwin, showing us that the Angels never give up, never surrender. And that made, that double makes it 7-6, to six. Angels retaking the lead into the seventh inning. But then, my friends, this is where we truly blew the game. Jacob Barnes to relieve Hobie Milner, who got the previous out, the last out in the top of the sixth inning. Walks the first, walks a batter gives up a single and then he walks another batter base is loaded and then he bring in Ty Buttry and game tied on a Kyle Lewis RBI ground out 7-7 and then Kyle Seeger the next batter up a sack fly on an 0-1 count and the Angels blew it again second time in the game they are down it is now 8-8 to se Actually, that's the third time they're down in this game. It is eight to Don't! seven, Mariners. The Angels would fail to score in the top of the seventh, so we go to the top of the eighth, and then once again we got more runners on base for the Mariners. J.P. Crawford rips a two RBI double, just like Goodwin did into the outfield, but this time it's for the wrong team, and that makes it ten to seven, Mariners. No! That would be the last.
rest of the scoring in the game as the Angels failed to muster anything in the bottom of the eighth inning. The Mariners not scoring in the top of the ninth inning. One last gasp for the Angels. Mike Trout's on second. He goes to third on an apparent balk. But that's all, folks. Rendon line out. Otani with a soft fly ball to Kyle Lewis in center. That's your ball game. Angels lose 10 to 7. <sighs> Bullpen strikes again. So, my friend, let me know what you thought of this reaction down in the comments below. I, I always want to hear from you. I'm always ready to hear all the heinous things that you're about to throw at me. So, be sure you also go check out Roast Off Barbecue. Like this video if you learned something and, or you just like hearing my voice. Uh, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already for more tariff free videos. As I said, get in the comments below, like video, subscribe, just do everything. Go do everything. That's what the internet's for. Have a nice day, everybody. Stay safe. Go Angels.